Thanks to the current quick pace of technological advancement, our society is constantly trying to make sure our laws are able to keep up with all the crazy new things that people are constantly doing. And one of the areas where I find this particularly interesting is with drones. Yes, there are a lot of thorny issues regarding the use of automated drones and drones in warfare. In fact, that's one of the few times that I actually agree with people who seriously criticize President Obama for his use of drones. It's tricky. Uh, but also there are even more complex problems regarding the use of drones in our personal lives. Drones just keep getting cheaper and cheaper, and at the same time, they keep getting more and more technologically advanced, which means that they get more and more fun, which also means that they get more and more dangerous. So that brings up a lot of questions. Should we regulate them, and if so, how? And more importantly, should the FAA be able to tell us that we can't fly a drone in our backyard with a flamethrower strapped to it so we can cook our Thanksgiving turkey? That's not a hypothetical situation, by the way. That's an actual case that's playing out right now. There is a teenager in Connecticut who scored two viral videos last year, uh, both of which involved strapping weaponry to a drone. The one being, yes, a flamethrower that he used to toast a turkey in his backyard, and the other being a downright terrifying handgun strapped to a drone, which yes, the flamethrower is also terrifying, but uh, seeing a flying drone basically holding a handgun and firing it is some straight up Terminator shit. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, is basically in charge of everything that flies, and it's so general that they've decided that this case is in their purview. So they have subpoenaed the family asking for any and all evidence related to the drone and the weapons and the videos that they made. And the family is fighting back, saying that the FAA has no right to even demand that, and they've hired legal counsel to protect them. And drone enthusiasts who previously hated this teenager for making them all look like a bunch of psychos now are mostly supportive of the teen because they think that the FAA is overreaching here. For the record, I agree with them. I am personally extremely anti-gun. I don't think most people should be allowed to have them, let alone be able to strap them to a poorly controlled flying robot. But the FAA has absolutely no right to tell people what they can and cannot fly in their backyard at about head height. Because if they did have that ability, it could drastically change for the negative uh, how people use drones and even how people like scientists use drones. Drones can play an incredibly important role in scientific research, whether it be flying over herds of endangered animals to track them or flying up to a mountaintop to check on certain tree life that we otherwise wouldn't be able to access, or even diving deep into the ocean where humans can't hang around for very long because not all drones fly. And if the FAA has complete control over all of these types of drones, that's going to add a whole lot of annoying red tape to scientific progress. And nobody needs that. It's not going to help anybody. The FAA categorizing all of these drones as aircrafts is particularly ridiculous when you realize that they don't even consider ultralight aircrafts to be aircrafts. And ultralights can carry actual humans in them and fly well above where a drone could fly. Basically what I'm saying is that if the FAA wants to take our drone's guns, they're going to have to pry them out of their cold mechanical hands or talk to the Bureau of Alcohol, Firearms, and Tobacco, because that's their job, or talk to the cops because that's their job, or talk to any other agency who is already in charge of regulating firearms. 